Welcome back everybody to a brand new tutorial video on the subsounds alert system. Now a lot of us like to use custom commands to either display an image, a video, hear a sound, or even write some text into chat. Well with subsounds alerts you can do just that. Let's jump right in. By heading over to the Commands tab, you see several things right off the bat. The first thing is a URL, just like the Subsends URL, the Alerts URL has its own. So make sure that you add this URL to OBS as a browser source along with your Subsounds. They have exclusive different URLs, so in order for the alerts to work, you need to have this URL set as its own OBS browser source. At first, we'll be going over how to create the commands, and then we will be testing them in Twitch chat and in the browser. So first, we could start off with how to create image commands. In this case, a lot of the creation is the same. You can see we have the images tab, sounds tab, videos, and text. We do not have any commands yet created, but we will start off with images. Now to create a new image command, you click the plus button, you enter the command name. In this case, I will use a dab command. You will see several other options. We have the user level, user cooldown, global cooldown, the image, the size, and the duration. The user level represents who in Twitch chat can use this command. We have a few user levels. There is everyone, subscribers, VIPs, moderator, and broadcaster. Now these work exactly the way you would expect. If it is set to everyone, that is everyone, subscribers, VIPs, moderators, and the broadcaster can use it. However, if you set it to subscriber, that means subscribers, VIPs, moderators, and broadcasters can use it. And then, of course, if we were to set it as moderator, that would mean only moderators and broadcasters and the broadcaster, being you, can use it. If you need any more clarification, feel free to let me know. But in this case, we will set it as everyone. The user cooldown specifies how many or how long a specific user must wait to use the command again. Now, the global cooldown is how long until the command can be used again by anybody. So if a user just, if a specific user just used the command, how long until somebody else can use that command? The image for a new image command is exactly what you would think. You would choose a file. So in this case, if I go to my stream directory, choose an image. Of course, we're going to be using the dab. There's, it shows a quick preview. You can set the size of the image, which you can preview when testing it, either in the browser source in OBS or in a browser source in a new tab in your browser. And then, of course, duration is how long should the, should the image be displayed on screen. After all the attributes have been selected, the command, the user level, user cooldown, global, image, size, and duration have all been set to your liking, you can then click the create button. This will then add it as a new command that you can now use on your stream. Now, if we simply update or we are previewing the URL in a browser, if I type dab into my Twitch chat, that is what will happen. I will show you once again. If I type dab, now you can see it is on a cooldown, so I am unable to use it. Now, in this case, what we can do is set the user cooldown to 1. We'll set the global cooldown to 1. We can update it. And we can give it another go. Of course, after every update, 
you do need to reload the browser source if it is open. Now, if we try it again, if I just type dab, we can see it dabs. And if I type it again, right after it's done, dab, it does indeed work. Perfect. Now that we have our first image command, why don't we add a sound command? In this case, you use the same exact process. You click the add button, you name it. Let's name it howl. For whatever reason, I don't know if I have a howl command or a howl sound, but we will, we will leave it at that. We will leave everything as is. Let's choose the file. We'll go to stream, sounds. I will simply use this one. I know this one's loud. So I will turn it down to 30. And you can see here with the sound command, you now have a volume toggle. After setting the desired volume and the sound, you can preview it. A here. new hand touches the beacon. Once this is all set up and everything is to your liking, you can create the new sound command. As you can see, it is now registered. Going back to test it out, we can reload the browser. Make sure if you are testing in a browser and not the browser source in OBS, you do have to click on the page. It is a very, very weird thing, but that is the way it works. But if you are in OBS testing it, you do not need to worry about this. So let's give it a go. If I type Howl, we should hear the sound command. A new hand touches the beacon. And indeed, we do. Perfect. Now that we have covered sound commands, let's move on over to video commands. Very, very similar in the process as the other ones. We will add a new command. Let's name it dog. We will keep the user level as everybody. User cooldown global cooldown is fine. Choose the video. Now let's go in, videos, I will choose this one, sure, why not? And of course you can set the volume and the size. In this case, I will set it to, let's just say 40%. It will use up 40% of the browser source and it will be set in the middle of the browser source. The volume, I believe this one is loud as well, so we will turn it down. You can preview so now, the video here. I want to sing a song just for you. Cause... And once everything is to your liking, you create it just like the other types of commands. Once it is registered, once again, we could go in, reload, click, bring up Twitch chat, and simply type the name of the new command. So now, I want to sing a song just for you. Because... You're my special friend. And there you have it. We have a working video command. Now the final command type as of this recording is a text command. Text commands are a little bit more sophisticated than any of the other commands and we will get into why that is. To create a text command, you go to the text tab and you hit this big button. In this case, we will be creating a shout out command. Now, remember, you can use any word here as the command type or as the command name. I am just using shout. Of course, you would set the user level as a shout out command. I only want to give the permission to moderators and myself to be able to shout people out, but that is my own preference. Then, of course, you would set the user cooldown and the global cooldown. And here is where things start getting fun. Down below here, you could see we have variables. Each variable is a placeholder for a specific word. 
that will get replaced when using the command. The chatter is the person using the command. For example, if I use the shout command, it will replace this variable with my name. The user is a specified user you might be shouting out. For example, if I use the so command, the user directly after that will be filled in. The user link would be the user's link on Twitch. Now, I know this doesn't make sense at the moment, but let me write it out for you and you will be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, for example, if I want to create a shout out command, I would write, please join me in following user. Now, this is a placeholder. This will get replaced by whoever you are shouting out. And I will then write, you can find them at user link. This will also get replaced after using the command. Now check this out. After we create the command, you are now able to use the shout command. Of course, if you are testing this live and you are testing this either in a browser or an OBS, be sure to refresh the browser source. That way the new command is loaded. We will then open up our Twitch chat and if I type shout at whichever user, it will then spit that out. As you can see, I will quickly show you. We have please join me in following just like it says right here, user. Now in this case, the user was me. And so it put my name there. But also, it filled in the Twitch link where you can find this user. Now, let's shout somebody else out. That way you can get a better understanding of how user and user link work. So if I shout, I apologize, <laughs> that should be an exclamation mark, uh, at Mr. Homer, who was just in my chat, we can check it out here. You can see that user gets filled in with the thing immediately or the user immediately used after the command. So user gets filled in by Mr. Homer and then the user link gets filled in with his link to his Twitch channel. Now we haven't used the chatter com the chatter variable yet. So let's try that out by creating a different command. Let's create a hugs command. Now in this case, what I would want to do is I would simply put chatter hugs and then I could put user. That way when we use it, it'll say Romeboy or whoever uses this hugs said user. So check this out. We'll refresh. We will open up Twitch chat. And if I do hugs at Mr. Homer, who is currently in my channel, you can see bam chatter, which is me because I use the command hugs, the specified user, here. So hugs, Mr. Homer, Romeboy hugs, Mr. Homer. And there you have it. Well, it looks like that sums up on how to create different types of commands using the Subsounds application. You can create image, sound, video, and text commands. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out in the Discord or hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you all so very much and I look forward to seeing you again next time.